what is up guys J banks doing three here and uh, I actually wanted to cut that video short that I did and I'll actually talk about the symbols in this one and then in the next video I'll actually talk about the actual rotation so let's get into the emblems really quick right now the emblems that I'm using that I think synergize with the monk in the best way possible would be emblem of pain now what Emblem of Pain does is it does a set amount of damage and you can get that set amount of damage by three times. So this damage is also affected about, uh, by your all damage on your weapon and it's also affected by your damage multipliers and all that with your stats. So when, through, when I get three stacks of Emblem of Pain I'm usually doing close to around 5 million damage. 4 million somewhere around there. Three stacks, 3, 4, 5 million it jumps up pretty crazy, but you're not going to get anything lower than lower than three million at my prestige. Now, emergency maneuver shockwave. What that is is when you do a dash, uh, three lines, three red lines, which you'll see in, in the next video, will appear. They'll slowly go toward the target. They'll hit the target for a nice amount of damage. They usually hit all the time over a million damage. I've never seen it hit for under a million damage. So. That is pretty good because you'll be dashing a lot with Monk. And if you incorporate this into your rotation, you will also be doing a pretty decent amount of damage and having a pretty good consistent train of damage. Alright, next in the symbols that I use is pretty much going to be what I use for defense. I like Protective Shell more than Divine Intervention. Some people like Divine Intervention more than Protective Shell. I like having the damage decreased all the time, it's constantly having damage being decreased, other than just blocking one set of damage and then having to wait for this buff to come up for 70 seconds. It's your choice, you can pick either one, I just think that protective shell is better. Pain shock. Pain shock is good damage, usually also hits over a million, and never seen it hit under a million. But it also stuns targets that are not bosses, even elite mobs. Any elite mobs, any mobs under that, it will stun them. But this does some pretty good damage, and it's pretty quick, it's instant, and it's out of the way. Now, piercing formation. This damage just pops up out of nowhere from just doing basic attacks. Now, basically, this, this is pretty much like dot damage. You can pretty much call it a bleed. Pretty much it starts at a set number and it just keeps climbing and it usually usually stops at around maybe 2 million. I've seen it sometimes crit where it gets up to 3 million. Alright, the ne these next two, you can do whatever you want with those. Those don't really affect Monk, so you can go either way with that. Next, we're going to be talking about what I use, which I believe it's in Philomenus. Yep, we're going to be talking about the... Uh, divine weapons or whatever that I use all right so uh, pretty much Larity's sword is what I use just because it's pretty much uh, the best melee weapon that you can use right now uh, if you're arranged then you would use Me Mechatark staff but if you're melee I would strongly advise you use Larity's sword the spin attack does a crazy damage and usually when a spin finishes, I'm at around maybe 5 to 6 million damage. So, basically that is the emblems that I use for Monk that I think synergize well with the class. If you guys have any questions about any emblems or anything in the future what you should use, let me know. But by that time, I'll probably have an updated guide. But if you guys have any questions about the last video or anything about the future videos or anything like that, Leave it in the comments and I'll answer it as fast as possible. But other than that, JX23 is out and I'll see you in the next video showing off the damage of the monk.